Hi bestie, welcome back to another day in my life. Just finished my morning routine and then I decided to catch up on YouTube comments because I was ridiculous behind, I'm so sorry. But I just answered a bunch of comments and <laughs> you guys are literally the best. I feel like I just have so many besties, virtual besties, and it makes me so happy because I just think back to being in like middle school and how bullied I was and I felt like I didn't have any good friends and now I feel like I just have so many good friends and I just freaking love you. Oh, I just wanted to kiss your little face. Oh, anyway, it is Thursday, which means it's a workout day. We're gonna go to a workout a little later. Other than that, I've got nothing exciting going on today. <laughs> Why I decided to vlog, I don't know. The truth is, I don't really have too many exciting things happening this week other than this weekend, because this weekend, well, you're gonna be seeing this on Mother's Day, but this weekend is Mother's Day and then it's my birthday. So I'm going down to Orange County to celebrate Mother's Day and my birthday with my mom and I'm gonna vlog that. So you'll see that in next week's vlog up until this weekend. It's just regular life over here, but I thought I would just take you along with me anyways. Definitely said this in other vlogs where I'm like, I feel like if I don't have anything exciting happening, then I don't wanna vlog because I feel like it's boring, but I've gotten many comments saying that you don't care what I'm doing. So hopefully that's still true <laughs> because I don't really know how exciting today is gonna be, but we'll see. Um, not to start this off on a sad note, but I'm very sad because I lost one of my earrings yesterday. We love the nails. We still love the nails. However, my nails make it really hard for me to put on and take off earrings, put on and take off necklaces and type. <laughs> and I thought that I had my earring clasped yesterday and then I woke up this morning and it was not there and I scoured the car, the house, everything and I can't find it so it's gone, I'm really sad. So I'm gonna stop at Missouri, which is where it's from, and I'm just gonna get another one. I'm not happy about having to do that, but shit happens. Why I'm telling you that? I don't know, that's just what besties do. We just talk about what's going on in our life, you know? And that is the big news for the day, is that I lost my earring. So if you're like thinking, Shayla, you only have one earring in? I know, I lost it. Oh, I'm so mad. You know what's so annoying is that when I was putting it on, I was like, I don't think that it's fully clasped, because there's like a safety clasp on it, and so I, tried to undo it to reclasp it and then i was like oh it is clasped but clearly it wasn't whatever what can you do so there's that gotta just go with the flow and so yeah um what else was i gonna tell you oh my gosh it's almost one o'clock where did the day just go just like answered emails and did some admin work let's go for a walk with the doggies Molly got a haircut if you follow me on instagram then you might have seen that she was feeling sick like Sunday, Monday, and Tuesday. It was honestly really scary. She was super lethargic, wouldn't drink water, looked really sad, wouldn't play, didn't want to walk. I had to take her to the emergency vet place just because it was out of hours on Monday morning and they gave her fluids and they said that she had a fever and they were like, but we can't find anything else wrong with her and it just was like so stressful but she's feeling better now yay i'm so happy about that because these dogs are my babies you're my babies huh i love you i know my baby i'm so glad you're feeling better if you have pets you can probably totally relate it's the absolute worst when they're not feeling well and you don't know why and you literally can't help them it's like, oh, it made me sad. Now we're good. I'm good if she's good, and I'm good if she's good. As long as these girls are good, I'm good. Come on, let's go. By the way, if you have not tried these ginger mints from Trader Joe's, you need to. They're delicious. When I was in Palm Springs with my mom, she had them, and she was like, oh, you want a ginger mint? And I was like, okay, fine. And now, I'm addicted. I can't stop. They're so good. Stand on the opposite 
Okay, let's make a smoothie and then I'm gonna show you all of the skincare things that I've been doing, using, and loving. Cause I got some new things that I've recently started doing and I just feel like I should share with you. Also, side note, oh, this is so hard. I have a podcast going and I had like talking in my ears while I was trying to talk. I tried, but I couldn't hang. <laughs> Um, what I was gonna say is that my skin is doing a lot better. It is still not its normal clear self like it had been for the last couple of years, but it is doing a lot better. So that is why I want to share what I've been using on my skin because I feel like it's working and I've been definitely, as you saw this morning, focusing on taking more time doing skincare, drinking a lot more water, cutting back on oil. For me, oils, nuts, and I also realized gluten. Those are all triggers for me, for my skin and for my digestive system. So I've been cutting back on those and I've been steaming my face regularly again and then I'll show you what products I've been using after I make this smoothie because the smoothie is another thing I've been doing every single day and usually I like to have a smoothie because I add protein to it after my workout but because I work out in the evenings I'm just not feeling a smoothie after so I've been doing it earlier you just got to make it work you know this is like oh, well, I'm really trailing off but I get asked a lot about self-care questions. How do I not get overwhelmed? And what time should I practice yoga? And what time should I meditate? And you know, people say you're supposed to have your protein smoothie after your workout and da 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 And yes, there are of course optimal times to have a protein smoothie and optimal times to meditate and optimal times to practice yoga. But if that doesn't work for you and that's not sustainable, then I'd rather you just do it whenever it makes the most sense for you rather than not do it at all. So for me, I kind of stopped doing protein smoothies because by the time I get home from my workout at five or six, I wanna shower and have dinner. I don't wanna drink a cold smoothie. So I stopped doing it because I thought that was the only time that I could do it. But instead I've been doing it kind of like as a mid morning between lunch or sometimes in place of lunch because I'm not super hungry until later in the day. So just gotta make it work for you. That's your permission slip to just make things work for you. Anyway, let's make this smoothie. A new addition to my smoothies that I've been doing to help my skin is aloe vera juice. Otherwise, I still do my same tropical green smoothie that I literally make every single day. I just, what can I say? I know what I like. If it ain't broke, don't fix it, you know? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna show you. Let's talk skincare. I'm gonna warn you now, there's a lot happening in this medicine cabinet, but it all serves a purpose. And I could probably stand to do a full skincare routine video, but I'm not doing that today. I'm just gonna show you the products and I'll give you like a little short rundown of how I use them and where they're from. And I'll link everything down in the description box below for you. Here is what we're working with. Like I said, there's a lot going on in here, but I'm going to explain everything. I wonder if I should just like pull certain things out. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Here are the two face washes I've been using. I've been using Unblemish for quite some time, but I recently added Panoxyl back in since my skin started breaking out. And so I will rotate between these two. I usually only wash with this at night and usually every other night, but it works amazingly. Unblemish is incredible as well, but I've been using it for some time and I think that maybe my skin might be starting to build a little resistance to it, which is why I started to add Panoxyl back in. When I am washing with the Unblemish, Unblemish face wash. I will also do the other Unblemish products, which this is the toner and then this is the acne treatment. And then I really love this active hydration serum. I put that on top to make sure my skin is nice and hydrated. I also really love this glycolic night serum from Drunk Elephant, as well as this RA cream from Cosmetic Injectables. This is prescription. You have to go into the office to get it, but it's amazing. This is the same place where I get my Botox and filler. And I'll really between these products. I usually do this every other night 
the RA cream. And then I use the glycolic serum intuitively. I don't use it on a set schedule or anything like that, but I really do love these two products. As far as moisturizers and hydration, I already talked to you about this active hydration serum, but I also really love this polypeptide cream from Drunk Elephant. I like their Be Hydra Intensive Hydration Serum from Drunk Elephant as well. And then I also really love this Collagen Boost Serum. This is also from Cosmetic Injectables. And on days that I'm wearing makeup, I really like to use this Collagen Boost Serum because I feel like it really helps my makeup go on smoothly. It's super hydrating and it helps boost collagen in your skin, which we love. These are my favorite masks. I love the Australian Pink Clay Mask from Sand and Sky, as well as the Clarifying Mask from Rodin and Fields. It's part of the Unblemish line. And then I've definitely talked about these two as well. This is the TLC Baby Facial from Drunk Elephant and the F-Balm Water Facial Mask. This one is super hydrating. And I'll use this hydration one when my skin is feeling super dry and I'll actually just leave it on overnight. The other ones I only leave on for a small amount of time, but I kind of rotate between these masks intuitively. These are my favorite eye creams slash eye treatments. This is the Refine from Rodin and Fields. And then I love this Retinol Eye Cream from Cosmetic injectables. This is the sunscreen I use on my face. And then I love this rose water facial spray from Mario Badescu. And then I recently started using this pretty fresh hyaluronic acid setting mist for when I use makeup. For spot treatments, I really love these miracle patches by, I think it's pronounced Rayel Beauty. And then of course an OG favorite, the Mario Badescu Pink Drying Lotion. For my babes that also suffer from the occasional cold sore, this Lemon Balm Solve is amazing. And then I've been doing my gua sha in the morning and my face really doesn't do well with oil, but I've been using this acne treatment oil to do my gua sha and then I will wash the oil off afterwards because my skin just does not do well with oil. So that's been my system with doing my gua sha in the morning is this UFO oil by Sunday Riley. Like with everything, I pretty much just do my skincare intuitively. So if I notice my skin is breaking out more, I'll kind of incorporate more of the acne fighting treatments. And then if my skin is feeling a little bit more dry, I'll do more hydrating and moisturizing treatments. And I just really try to pay attention to how my skin is feeling. And I've really been loving my morning skincare routine. I'll do my gua sha with the UFO oil, and then I'll wash my face, do whatever serums and treatments that I want for the day, and it's just been really nice. And I also, of course, have been steaming my face in the morning and then using an ice roller before I apply my morning skincare. <laughs> so graceful. So yeah, those are my favorite skincare products right now. That is what I've been using. I'm trying to think of if I have anything in the shower. No. That's that. Time to go work out.
doing my little sand and sky Australian pink clay mask. And I'm going to enjoy this glorious burrito bowl. Honestly, there are a few things I love more than showering, washing my hair, getting in my pajamas, putting a face mask on, cracking open a fresh Topo Chico, and making a delicious dinner. Like, yum. Cannot wait to eat this vegan burrito bowl. Um, I feel like I look kind of scary because it's like, it's like half dried. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I hope you have an amazing week. Thank you for hanging out with me today. I hope you enjoyed this very random video. If you're not already, make sure you're subscribed because I upload a new video every single Sunday and I will see you next week. Bye.